Hey guys, so what we're going to talk about today is my off season. So, um, currently been a couple months of off season. My show was December 1st. Um, been pretty much doing it solo, haven't had any coaches um, telling me what to do or what to eat or what not to eat. So, I'm pretty much just enjoying life, um, doing what I do. Um, I'm in the gym, just, you know, working out the same way as I was. Um, I was doing a little bit of a hybrid um, between um, Chris Gethin's DTP and Neil Hill's Y3T um, and then throwing some dog crap in there as well. Just kind of mixing stuff up in the gym um, as much as possible just to shock the body and, and you know keep it guessing. So off season has been kind of rough. Uh, the reason why is because when you're getting dialed in for that show you see where your body's at and you know where you're taking where you can take your body and looking at yourself in the morning um, you know in the middle of off season or in the first couple months of off season you're like what the fuck happened and it, it's really a mental um, issue at least for me I, I'm sure with competitors that have been competing for years and years they 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 know what is going to happen. They know that they're going to take on some body fat. They know they're going to hold water. They know they're going to do all these things. But their their ultimate goal is to put on more muscle. But for somebody that just did one show um, and, and then going into an off season, it's very mentally challenging. Because every time I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror, I go, fuck, I want to go back on prep, or I want to cut, or I want to do this. And it's a detriment to you because you're stressing which raises your cortisol, which holds body fat. It's just, it's that constant cycle. It's like a revolving door of hell, you know? It's, it's, it's pretty tough. Um, I've been talking to a couple people, uh, mainly a friend of mine that's um, out of state in, in Pittsburgh, and kind of, you know, enticing him to say, hey, can you help me with my off season? Because I feel that it's, it's easier for me to have somebody else tell me, this is what you need to eat, this is when you need to eat it, this is how much cardio you should be doing because they've been through it before. They've been through it many times before. Um, so I, I hopefully uh, I can work with him and uh, keep my off season pretty much on track and uh, be able to clean it up a little bit here and there so that I'm not you know looking in the mirror and going what the fuck. So uh, this is going to be an update, an ongoing update of my off season, um, and hopefully it gets better. It doesn't get worse. So I'm going to try to do them like every couple weeks, every week, couple weeks, depending on how I feel. Um, but hopefully you guys keep interested and, you know, if you have any questions or if you want to see anything or you have questions regarding, I'm not going to answer explicit questions um, regarding like who's doing my training or who's doing my nutrition or who's doing my supplementation or, or what I'm taking. Um, but if you have general questions, um, feel free to ask. Um, I'm not going to answer like, I'm not going to tell you guys you need to eat this, you need to eat that, and you know, do this and do that kind of thing. So, but if you have general based questions, please feel free to contact me down in the comments below and uh, just let me know. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye.